dear friends, of Nosan Zal, the great Chassid of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, is teaching us in the Chutah Lacha, Tzilchas Arev, Halacha Gimel, that the great gain that we stand to gain in our lives from deeply going into the morning, from deeply feeling and crying about our distance from Hashem, from our Father in heaven, like a child's distance from his father, the great gain is that we can find our missing passion for life, our missing ability to say yes to life in the deepest way. We can find that if we mourn fully and for real. But what is the gateway to really be able to mourn? How can we go there? I believe the secret, one way of exp getting there, the only way, but from my heart to your heart, is a Gemara in Brachas Daf Samech Bet and a teaching from the parish Yosef Lekach on the Megillus Esther, as we'll see in a minute. The Gemara in Brachas Daf Samech Bez says, asks, what does it mean when the Mishnah says that a person has to make a blessing on negative, on really terrible news, in the same way that they make a blessing on the positive? Where I ask, we make two different blessings, make Hatova Ametiv and Daina Emes. And the Gemara answers, Rava answers, Keshem in the Mishnah does not mean the same words, it means the same Simcha. Says Rava, with joy, says Rashi. To be able to make that blessing on the negative, even though it's so negative, wholeheartedly, with a whole heart. This is an amazing definition of simcha. Wholeheartedness. But how can we go there and really wholeheartedly feel like, like the Gemara says in, in Moed Kot, in the first three days of Shiva, are for Bechi, for just, just weeping. That's called Simcha, that's called Lev of Shalem. To my understanding, from my heart to your heart, the gateway is, as the Heilige Yosef Lekach, who's a contemporary of the Maral of Prague, teaches on the Megillah, Perik Tet, Pasuchav Gimel. He's teaching there about the mitzvah of Ad de lo Yada, the Chayev Inish de Besume Bepuria. person has an obligation on Purim to become, and here there's different opinions, the word Besume means simple meaning is to drink Ad de lo Yada to the point where you cannot distinguish between Baruch Mordechai and Aruch and Ar Haman, blessed is Mordechai and cursed is Haman. Says Hilgi Yosef Leka that actually it doesn't really mean that. It's kind of a euphemism. It means something much stronger, something we never hear. It says it means that the Jews at that time were in such despair. The first base of Mikdash had been destroyed. They really weren't sure if there would be a second, certainly not a third. And when they saw how much Hashem was still with them in their exile, the joy was so great that Mordechai and his Beisdin understood that actually we need to get drunk to the point where we do forget Jerusalem. Incredible! Just we can't say such a thing. How could I ever forget Jerusalem? There's always something about Purim is the exception. Also, Rabbi Yaakov Emden in his Siddur quotes his father, the Mordechai, that even Shabbos and Yantif, one should have some little bit missing to remember Yushalayim. But one day a year on Purim, 
not. We need for one day, and that one day gives us koach for everything, from my heart to your heart. We need to know deeply that everything is completely okay. Mamish Hashem is with us completely. We need a dose of Simcha Shlema. That's how we can have a real open heart. How do we get to that Simcha Shlema? Should be blessed to give it to each other. Remember that it really is there. And through that, to go deeply because of that, to be able to go, believe of Shalom with a whole heart, into the morning, into the crying, into the distance, and through that to unearth a deeper passion that will open up great light for Tafshin Peidal. Kol Tuvachar.